What is up my homies? Today we are going to be taking a look at the Voson Easy Spin 4. So this is the newest version of the Voson Easy Spin and it is absolutely awesome. Um, it's very similar in shape and size to the Easy Spin 3. There is a little bit more angularness to it. You definitely feel more rim weight. Uh, this one's got a really cool uh, anodization. And just your very simple Easy Spin laser engraving. It looks very similar to their other previous versions. So today we are just going to do, just jump right into it. There's not really much of a unboxing. I put the packaging, here it is. Same packaging on all Vos and Yoyas. So I didn't really want to do an unboxing. There's nothing really to it. Um, if you've seen one of them, they're all packaged the same. Um, but that being said, let's get right into the review. So very similar to the Easy Spin 3 as far as it's a budget mono metal um, that you could, you know, you could use this yo-yo for anything. Now uh, you can throw really anything at it. Um, kind of a yo-yo that's, you know, it's not phenomenal at one thing, but it's really good at anything. You know, it's, it's got a nice finish, good at grinds. The shape, you can play plenty fast with it. It's easy to catch on the string. Spins long, it's nice and stable. You, um, you know, you can do your DNA finger spins with it. There's nothing this yo-yo can't handle. It's got a big, big fat thumb grind lip on it as well. Yeah, and the biggest difference I would say from this and the Easy Spin 3 is this one definitely has a longer spin. Um, I'll put the specs on the screen. But yeah, at first glance, if you didn't like look and read it, you would probably just think it's a Easy Spin 3. But when you get it in your hand and you really play with it, uh, you will notice a difference. Um, it is definitely better in like every way. It just feels kind of more modernized, I guess you could say. Yeah, really, really long spinning, easy to catch on the string, very forgiving too. So even when it's barely spinning, you can still get it, get it to your hand, uh, no problem. Yeah, but overall, really, really fun yo-yo uh, to play with. Um, I didn't want to do a super long review, make this any longer than it really needed to be. Um, but at the same time, I wanted to show you guys enough of a demonstration to know that it's a nice yo-yo that if you're in, you know, in the market for a budget yo-yo, you could definitely, definitely check this one out. And I really dig the anno on this one. Not just how it looks, but also how it feels on the grinds and everything feels Phenomenal. The guts on the inside, pretty standard. We got a uh, concave bearing. So the, uh, those of you that really like concave opposed to center track, you'll be happy to see it's a concave bearing. Stainless steel axle and the white pads. I always like the white pads. Um, pretty much on all, all yo-yo companies. I'm always happy with the white pads, but I'm not too picky um, on the pads in general. Sometimes the clear ones can be a little slippy for me, depending on what company they're from, but the white pads I've always had good luck with. White pads, the red pads, and the blue pads, the yellow pads. Yeah, just sometimes those those clear ones on some yo-yos can be too slippy, or maybe when they get a little old and dried out or whatever, but no, these white ones, I really dig them. Response reminds me a lot of like, a, on most like yo-yo factory type yo-yos. Yeah, but once again, a yo-yo you can play fast with, you can play tech with, you can really do anything. You could use this as a 5A yo-yo, um, and you could get two of them, use them for 3A, you know, if you beat the crap out of this yo-yo, it's a budget yo-yo. doesn't really matter, um, and that's the great thing about budget yo-yos. Excited they have cool anos with them and stuff. I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, thank you, Vozan, for hooking it up with the, the new version of the Easy Spin, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.